What's going on everybody and in today's video I'm ranking my top five supercross tracks of all time. Now I'm not going to be ranking a track from each game. It's just simply across all of the games my top five tracks. It's as simple as that and uh, no tracks from supercross 6 because obviously I haven't played the game and from what I've seen the tracks don't look very good in that game. So it's just across the first five supercross uh, games. Now don't forget this is all my opinion so uh you're probably going to be disappointed with this list so without further ado let's get right into it so at number five we have seattle from supercross 3. this track has been in some of my recent videos i've always really enjoyed this track it's not too difficult i'd say it's more on the easier side especially since this game has that front nosedive uh exploit glitch whatever this track has basically everything you need a good whoop section, not too difficult. Rhythm lane, not the most difficult. And it has, I th I'd say every section on this track has a couple different options to go through, which is why it's very unique. But at the same time, I think it being so easy is just knocking it down the list. Uh, I prefer a more difficult track, but obviously not too difficult. But uh, yeah, Seattle's just a bit too easy. I remember doing some online races back in the day on Seattle. Had some good memories, good battles, it races very well online, and it's actually kind of fun for the career or single player experience. Um, I was very, I was really debating putting this in my top three. I think if the track was maybe 15, 20 seconds longer around that area, it would be a bit better. I think it's just a bit too short. It doesn't really have any flaws with the layout or the design. I think it's just a bit too short, perhaps. But that's really all I have to say about Seattle. It's a great track. Um, it could easily be in the top three or number one. I wouldn't really blame you for putting it that high. But if you say it's a bad track, I think you're just full of yourself. So uh, let's get on to number four. At number four, we have Texas from Supercross 4. Yes, this game wasn't the best. I didn't enjoy it. But this track was so phenomenal. The layout and just how they built it in this game worked very well. I think the physics is the only thing that made me put this track at number 4. If this was in Supercross 3, 2, or 1, it would probably be first on the list. It's got a kind of a big lap time. I think it's in the lower 50s or mid 50s. And um, the rhythm lane, rhythm section is super long. So many different options to go through. Nice long big ass whoop section. And before the finish line there is a, there's a chance for a big line. And once you hit it right, it is very satisfying. This track was very fun to go for fast laps and time trial. I think it was the first uh, track I did a time trial video for. It's just very, it's so fun to come back and play. Yes, the game might not be the best, but uh, this track works so well. And uh, if they ever remake this in future Supercross games or in real life, I wouldn't be complaining. This track is one of my, one of my favorites. It would be at number one if I think it was in a different game. So uh, yeah, Texas, great track. If you put it higher than number four, I wouldn't blame you. It is a very good track. Coming in at number three, we have San Diego from Supercross 2. If you followed my channel for a long time and you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that San Diego, I've always really rated this track. It's It has nostalgia for me because I think it was my first league racing track. Uh, ever for Supercross games and I just always love the layout uh, I remember before uh, Supercross 2 came out I I played the hell out of this tr custom track on Supercross 1 I just think the layout is so it's simple but it works it doesn't really have um, a really long rhythm lane this has a bunch of short sections the whoop section is very tough this corner right here you can hit that triple it's very satisfying once you get the uh, the flow going on this track, it's it's one of my favorite tracks of all time, obviously. I really wanted to put it at number one, but I think just the fact that it kind of has the same issue as Seattle, where it can be often a little bit too simplistic, but it also has various different line options throughout all the sections, which is one reason why I do love it. I think if the track, again, was maybe... Uh, 10 seconds longer it could be a bit better or if it had a long rhythm lane I think that's the only thing it really is missing. I wanted to put it number one But I think after going through all these tracks 
Um, I decided to not be completely biased and I stuck it at number three. Uh, it's just, it's really fun to come back and play. It works on all of the other Supercross games if you want to make this track yourself. It just works. It's fun to race in the rain, which I think it was in real life a rain race, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, this track was so fun to race in online and single player. It's just, it's so nostalgic. It's amazing. And, uh, yeah, it belongs at number three. Coming in at number two, we have Anaheim 1 from Supercross 1. Now, I think the main problem with this game is that it was maybe a bit too easy, so some of the tracks were often built a bit toned down and the whoops obviously in this game were very piss poor they were basically speed bumps but this was the one track where they actually got the whoops decent not perfect but you could often swap out in them crash like crazy that sort of thing but uh, this track's got a good lap time it's not too long not too short there's so many different line options through basically every section obviously besides the triple but uh, once you get a once you nail this track, especially with the whips in this game, the scrubs, it feels so nice and satisfying. The AI is actually pretty good on this track, so you can have some uh, competitive battles with them. But this section right here coming out of the sand corner, you can just absolutely send it all the way to the corner almost. So um, it's very nice. And then the rhythm section, multiple different ways through there. And if you fuck up like I do, you're going to miss the triple. And then the next rhythm section, there are so many different ways to hit it. And it's not, it's not an easy track. It may look easy, but I think this is the more difficult track. It's probably the most difficult track in the game. And the way it's built, it works really well. And again, with the AI being competitive, it makes it a bit more fun. Um, there's not really any other great tracks in Supercross 1, just because of the fact they're built a bit toned down. But Anaheim 1, for me, I was going to put it lower on this list, but after coming back and playing it, it belongs in the top three for sure, in my opinion, and I'm sticking it at number two. The best track across all of these Supercross games, in my personal opinion, is Tampa Bay from Supercross 2. Coming back and playing it, I was very, I wasn't sure where to put this track at number one, two, three, four, or five, but I knew it belonged in the top five. I just think this track stands out from the rest. It has, again, a long rhythm lane, a really long sand section which you can actually lose quite a lot of time in if you don't hit it correctly multiple different line options especially after the finish line you can absolutely send it off of that it's got a, it's a straight away which you don't usually get on super cross tracks um, it's very unique the over under I love me some over unders uh, a nice big ass whip section um, it really has everything a super cross track needs um, triples long whoops uh, big whoops long rhythm section multiple line options it's not i'd say it's difficult track but again i wouldn't say it's easy um the rhythm lane there's so many different line options you can absolutely there is a big ass line um but it's not easy to hit at all um the ai is not bad on this track uh it's everything about it i don't really have any complaints really um maybe if you hate sand sections in supercross you could argue that but everything about this track, man, it it works. I don't have any complaints. I would say it's perfect. And um, it always seems to me that Tampa has good tracks in these Supercross games. And uh, I'm surprised that I actually didn't put a gl single Glendale track on this list. But I guess that's all I really have to say. Tampa, it, again, it's the best track of all time. Um, I th If you say it's a bad track, you're absolutely on crack. But uh, yeah, that's my list. Let me know what yours is down below. I'm really curious to see if any of you guys, you know, like if your favorite track from Supercross 5 or whatever. Um, I bet your list will be very different from mine. And uh, that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, take care.